This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Diana Williams and Sade Badrenoir. And Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. When cancer spreads from one part of the body to the brain, it can be deadly. Even if a tumor is removed, the cancer cells can return. Now doctors are taking a new approach that could save lives. Here's our senior medical reporter, Dr. Jay Adlersberg. Beth Hoffer has traveled the world. I've been to Australia, New Zealand, Sweden, and all over. But the real journey of her life began five years ago when doctors diagnosed her with breast cancer. I remember when they told me that it was cancer, I actually laughed because I, I was in such disbelief. The news got worse. After three years in remission, the cancer spread to Beth's lungs. She had those lesions removed, but a recent scan showed the cancer had traveled to her brain. I was just so shocked. Typically, surgeons remove the brain tumor and wait weeks for patients to heal before starting radiation. But that gives cancer cells time to grow back. Doctors offered Beth a different solution, radiation seeds. First, they remove the tumor. Then, during the same surgery, they implant the seeds directly into the brain. It's like two procedures in one. By implanting the seeds into the surgical cavity right away, we essentially avoid the weight and therefore prevent the potential recurrence of the tumor at the surgical site. The seeds contain an isotope called cesium-131. Instead of traditional machines where beams have to pass through the skull and brain, they deliver radiation directly to the tumor site. By delivering these seeds right into the cavity, we can give a very high dose of radiation focally to the bed of the tumor and uh, prevent the radiation from spreading to the rest of the brain. Cesium-131 allows radiation to be delivered quickly. Within about two weeks, the seeds are permanent and patients only need one procedure. The fact that you don't have to go for daily radiation treatments, it was just wonderful. Beth is cancer-free and hoping to stay that way. This is Dr. Jay Adlersberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.